okay here yeah and uh, now the thing is uh, what is uh, bug what is uh, fault or what is uh, error or what is uh, failure is that all the terms are same or any anything is uh, difference is there is all same i guess is all same means not in a point of uh, english terminology i am asking you in the point of testing any idea uh, i don't know oh, i don't know no Maybe. issues no issues no issues okay this is the thing actually uh, means before going to that here uh, what is error or what is uh, the thing i uh, will come into picture here let us see that what is error here before going to the error what is error means here the thing while we are developing if you are a developer okay just think it as a developer point of view okay i am declaring the variables a b okay a equals to 10 i am de declaring i want to write the program for sum okay means here i want to if i want to write for the sum means you have to write it as you have to give some values a for 10 and i am giving b for 20 b equals to 20 and i am giving a plus b right instead of giving plus per suppose developer has given think like that he has given a particular multiplication part what is the output here the output will be uh, 30 30 right ah sorry my bad 200 200 right? 200 right but what is the means development side actually what we have to do we have to do some some part right correct yeah yes That's means the, yes yeah. it means like these mistakes are called as errors okay means these are rectified at that point of time if you are do, if you are doing some uh, testing proper testing over here means if they if he is cross checking at least once is that particular code is working as per requirements or not okay means if he is checking one time means he will get some mistake in that right like this if you are discussing like this uh, means it's if it is like three lines of code four lines of code means he can check it properly is that particular working or not by seeing itself we are going to check it if the particular program is having 500 lines of code or 1000 lines of code okay is that possible to identify properly means why the mistake no. will come into picture at that point of means if uh, 200 lines or 300 lines of code means in that definitely you are going to use some iterative statements and you are going to use some conditional statements right yes yes before i uh, means uh, while he is doing some conditional statements or uh, implementing some looping statements means at that point of time uh, he has to put some conditions while he is putting some conditions there may be a scope of doing mistakes in that normal coding no one will do the particular mistakes right yeah while they are validating or while they are putting some conditions at that point of time only there may be a scope of doing mistakes there may be a chance of not checking off negative things also means if you take a condition if that particular if we are doing here if c equals to 30 i have to report it as pass else i have to report it as fail means you are writing two statements right if it is pass you have to uh, execute some set of statements if it is not pass you have to execute some other set of statements right are you waiting ditesh Okay. Okay. So you talking about in terms of uh, test cases, are you? Means, yeah, means oh. uh, not in this point of time. I'm speaking about the uh, developer point of view. Oh, yes. oh sorry, you, you said mm -hmm. you said earlier. Means, yes, I'm uh, speaking in the point of developer point of view. Okay, means uh, that thing also will come into picture while coming into that picture we will discuss it. Okay, no issues. Okay, here means at this point of time, if we will put some conditions at that point of time, okay, means there may be a scope of doing mistakes. Okay, like this, he has to check whether a uh, positive things or negative things. But developer will do the particular positive thing only. Means if he want to do for some program A plus B, he will check it. Is that particular thing is giving 30 or not? He will check it. But he won't do with the other validations. Okay, that is the major drawback of the thing means if you are a creator you are not supposed or you are not interested to point out your work right yeah that's really as a human as a human we have that mindset means everyone is having that mindset if we are the creators whatever it may be if we are creating something means if uh, means ourselves we are not going to point out our product or our creativity right yeah yeah that's why most of the 
things or errors will come into picture. If they are rectified at this point of time only, okay, the cost of fixing effect will be very less. Okay, means if the particular error has not identified by the particular customer, okay, or whatever it may be, okay, if he has not identified that, means what he will do, he will deliver it to the testing department, right? After that, he will deliver it to the testing department. If the particular tester will find out some mistake, okay, whatever the mistake he did, okay, that is called bug or defect, bug or defect, okay? Right, this is called bug or defect. Okay, means if the tester is finding some mistake, means that is called bug or defect. Here, bug is defect is nothing but the deviation between expected result to the actual result. Okay, you got it right. Yeah, here error means what you have to give the definition means any incorrect human action is nothing but error. Yes, means here error means in exact words if you want to say any incorrect human action is nothing but error in the point of development. Here the point of development, whatever it may be, okay, what is the incorrect human action is nothing but error. Buggy is nothing but the deviation between the expected result to the actual result is nothing but bug. Okay, means if developer also misses something, some defects while executing the test cases, he did something okay wrong okay again the particular defect is remaining that like that only right after delivering the particular application to the client he found some mistakes yeah right after, after client is finding means it is a drawback to the company right drawback to the company and the product yeah. he has to he has to do some penalty right means client should not know the particular technicalities to check the particular application right what he will do he will trust on the company he will deliver that product into the market if taken computer itself sorry uh, calculator application you are creating uh, means you have given a software or if you have given a contract to the company to implement the calculator application okay after deploying the calculator application okay they what he will do he will simply deliver it into the market right means if you are doing some mistakes means the developer has not found out that and after the particular testers also not did current job after delivering into the market if it is not market if it is not working means it will be big loss to the company right means all the people will return the calculators and uh, the particular brand name will be particular corrupted right, right? Sure. it will be very la big loss to the company at that point of time okay he has to uh, face that situation right means at that point of time if the application is not working means the penalty will be to the company okay right like that means at that point of time the tester who is testing this application he has to take the responsibility of that means he has to give some explanation to his seniors right why he has to he did like that okay what is the mistake you did okay they have to do some root cause analysis you do you have listen the word root cause analysis yes now what is the meaning of root cause and so the meaning uh, my understanding about throughput analysis mm -hmm. is like uh, how does this happen and uh, what can we do in terms of uh, making sure that it doesn't happen in the future. Yes, yes, exactly. Means root cause analysis is nothing but they will find what the mistake we did exactly, why that particular mistake has done. Okay, in previously we did like this or not. In future, if you want, if you don't want to repeat that mistake, what we have to do to take the particular cautions. Okay, they will make a document for that and they will do some things and they have to do the changes accordingly. Okay, this is the process called as root cause analysis. Okay, this is the process will be going on. This is the difference between error or bug or failure. Okay, if the client is finding that particular mistakes means that is called failure actually. Failure of uh, product. Is product, it? that's it. Product or project, whatever it may be. Failure. That is called failure. This is the difference between error, bug, and particular failure. Do you have any doubts over here? No, it's all good. Thanks. Any questions? Mm, not so far. So far, so far. Thanks. Okay, no issues. Okay, then 